welcome back to day 24 of Junk Journal January 2024. This is Candia with For the Love of Paper and Ink and for the 24th prompt it is fabric. So I'm going to use this kit from Sam Poole Designs that has a swatch card in it and it is going to be what I put some fabric swatches on. Usually you, the these cards are used for lace, but since it was a fabric prompt today, I wanted to go with that for the swatch cards. So it also this kit also had this really pretty page that looked like some pieces of fabric to me. So I wanted to use that as my background. So for this to be able to use it as my background, I need to cut out some little pieces for the binding. Then I am going to um, cut out the card, swatch card that I want to use and ink it up because uh, the printer didn't print the left side of it all the way. So I am going to just ink it up and pretend that it printed the whole thing because I didn't print set the printer settings correct and I didn't want to reprint it out. Now I'm going to score along the top of the swatch card so that it has the flap that comes down on the top and holds the fabric. And I'm going to ink that top um, flap that I folded down as well so that it's inked up all the way around on the top and the bottom. Then I have three fabrics that I am going to use and I'm just going to trim them up to fit in the swatch card. I'm going to make this butterfly one that I have the bottom one and be the longest and I want each swatch swatch of fabric to show so I'm going to make each one as I go up a little shorter then I have this vintage fabric that has the reds and yellows in it that I really liked thought would look really nice with that butterfly fabric and so I'm going to trim that up, make it just a little bit shorter than so that one of the butterflies at the bottom will stick out underneath it. Then I um, am going to add some vintage fabric that has a trim on the bottom of it and I'm going to stamp on top of it so it will have a cohesive look instead of just a plain piece of fabric on top it will be have a some of the red because I'm going to use my festive berries red fabric uh, distress oxide on the fabric now here comes the fabric I'm going to use on the top so I'm going to trim that down shorten it up so that it allows for the second piece of fabric to show through and then um, I'm just trimming off the edges so that the trim on the bottom is even with three scallops now I'm going to use my Festive Berries and this Butterfly Stamp to stamp on the fabric. And I love how the red color turned out on the creamy fabric. So next I'm going to attach it together with my Tiny Attacher from Tim Holtz. So it will have two little staples at the top. And then I'm going to put together my whole page. So that way I can attach the fabric swatch to the page. So when I'm deciding what to do with this page, I take this third piece of printable from the sample kit and I want to use those two um, strips that were on that page. And I'm going to distress them, ink them up, and layer them together and then glue them down on the page just above that black part. I really love this kit. I think it's a beautiful kit and I'm excited to use it more than just on a page in my junk journal but make a whole junk journal with it. And here I am going to get out one of my rusted paper clips to attach a piece of fabric to it so that I can clip my fabric swatches into the book. So I'm going to have fabric in two spots on this page, attached to, one attached to the paper clip holding the swatch in and then the swatch book of fabric. So that's how I decided to incorporate fabric into this spread for today. And once I get that all finished and set in the book, my spread will be done. I'll add my date and 
um, have it finished up for the day. So thank you for joining me again for day 24. And I hope to see you again tomorrow for day 25. And I'm still a day behind. So hopefully I'll get day 26 um, done here, 25 and 26 done tomorrow, maybe. Um, but we'll get them all done by the end of this month. Again, thank you for following me and following along with Junk Journal January, and I'll see you tomorrow.